Today I'm diving into the best free AI audio tools for widening filmmakers. Let's face it, AI is everywhere and we are just stranded in this binary jungle. And so instead of running away from AI, we should embrace it and utilize its benefits for what we do as wedding filmmakers. So the first one that I wanna talk about, you've probably heard, and that is Adobe Enhance. This free to use plugin, as long as you have a Creative Cloud subscription, allows you to remove background noise from your video recordings to make them sound like they were recorded in a professional studio. I've personally used this platform on several occasions for my ceremonies, my letter readings, any type of speeches that maybe just had some unwanted audio that I wanted to clean up. Adobe Enhance does an incredible job of doing this. For instance, let's take the on-camera audio, throw it in Enhance, and see what it does just right out of camera. Opposed from using recorders like the DR10L, let's just see what we can get away with. And as you can see, it does a pretty crazy job of isolating the background noise and cleaning up the sound to really sound professional. Now let's try a real example from a wedding where the ceremony audio just didn't turn out the way I intended it to and see what Adobe Enhance can do for us. Jacqueline. Take a look around at this incredible celebration we have put together, or should I say, that you have worked so tirelessly to plan. Jacqueline, and take a look around at this incredible celebration we have put together, or should I say, that you have worked so tirelessly to plan. Now, even though these AI audio tools are an amazing resource, they are not perfect. And just because we have this amazing technology does not mean that we should adopt the I'll fix it in post mentality. You always wanna to strive to capture quality sound on location because even though AI is super useful, it doesn't always do what you want it to. It's always gonna work best when you have quality sound with very prominent voice recordings dominating the WAV file and with little background noise as well. That's why using recorders like the Tascam DR10L, the Zoom F2s, even the new Tascam DR10L Pro, which I did a video on last week. If you're interested in checking that out, you can find that here. But using these recorders are obviously gonna be the best route opposed from just using your on-camera audio. Because even though it did a good job of isolating that noise, it still does sound a bit artificial and you're really trying to find a natural balance throughout your audio. Moving on to the next free audio plugin that I stumbled upon recently is Goyo, or Goyo. This is an all-in-one plugin with denoise, de-reverb, and de-voice. And essentially what this plugin is doing is separating your audio into three different channels so that it can manipulate different parts of this audio file. This is a super intuitive plugin that gives you a lot more control than Adobe Enhance. The benefit of using this plugin is it lives inside your video editor. So opposed from having to export your audio with Adobe Enhance, drag it in, drag it out, re-import, all of those things, it's just a lot of time that you're wasting with Goyo, Goyo, I don't know how you say this thing. Either way, it lives inside your video editor so that you can save a ton of time. So let's take a look at some of the ways that this plugin can really enhance some ceremony audio. I give you my whole heart forevermore as your wife and your rose lip. I love you, Joshua. I give you my whole heart forevermore as your wife and your rose lip. I love you, Joshua. And just for the sake of comparing, let's throw both of these into Adobe Enhance and compare the two side by side. I give you my whole heart forevermore as your wife and your rose lip. Okay, case in point. AI is not perfect by any means. And so while this is absolutely hilarious and a moment that will live in YouTube infamy, one thing I will note about Goyo versus Adobe Enhance is it does a better job of isolating the ambience, the reverb. You can also fine tune those parameters so that you can still incorporate some ambience. Again, I think this plugin is probably best suited for us as wedding filmmakers because we're able to still control uh, the level of ambience and keep that natural balance throughout the recording. Opposed to Adobe Enhance where it just kind of it does its thing. And I mean, while it's super professional and good quality, uh, you always kind of want to keep some of the natural elements from your original recording, just so that it can still feel very natural and authentic. So just my two cents, 
Let's hop back into the video. When it comes to which one you should choose, I think both of them are really good options. Um, you know, for me, it's it seems more uh, relevant to use the Goyo Goyo plugin because it does live inside my editor. It is free. I don't have to export audio out, re-import it. So it is a huge time saver. Uh, with Goyo, it's not perfect. I mean, neither is Enhance. I'm giving you my whole fart forevermore. <laughs> but um, both of them really do an amazing job of isolating um, just things that you don't want in your audio. So when it comes to which one you should choose, I think both are great options. Just consider what's gonna be best for you and your workflow. But that is the end of this week's video. Hope you found it helpful and valuable in some way. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, drop a comment, let me know if you're using any of these plugins, if you're using something different to clean up your audio, I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace.